Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. We have two new, we had two new banners drop yesterday. These look familiar because this is Nola and this is Lina. Um, gonna go over, uh, is there a chance that you might select them over these two or even Susie and Susan? So let's go over and review what they can do. Um, go over the kit. Uh, because again, both of them were actually uh, part of a free banner. Either you'd get uh, Lina, Nola, or Sighard. Okay, so those three. I actually got Sighard. I wasn't able to get these two. That is why I don't have them yet. Honestly, I don't have them. I'd like to get um, Lina because uh, I'm going to explain later why. We'll start off with uh, with Nola first and, uh, you know, um, try to break down her kit, how valuable she is and what impact she will have on your roster just in case you decide to get her. Okay, so for Nola, um, she's very... Uh, she uses crit um, that much, meaning her her you know her play relies heavily on crit rate so for her passive unique passive that increases her crit rate this is going to be good you just have to rank her up so it it, it goes from 20 to 30 i think this is the last rank that she's in and increase range when using a skill she is one of the furthest range for a mage which helps really in her survivability um, leadership passive activation condition is two lightning allies. This is kind of tricky. We don't have much lightning allies that you could really pair with her. It could be our main character. It could be um, we have an assassin that is a lightning semi. So could be that. But again, there are not really uh, strong candidates to activate her. Um, her leadership skill, but it's good that she has one probably in the future We would have other heroes to help her activate this one and Allies have a 15% chance increased critical chance when using an active attack Okay, so a lot of crit uh, additions here. Her skills are basically built on single target damage increase in crit chance um, She also has she, she has debuff, increase the uh, chance to receive uh, critical damage by 20%. What else? Um, increase the, you know, again, another here for increase uh, the probability to, to, to receive critical damage and move to a random tile. She, is, she has kind of a mini teleportation. Um, like, for example, here at the end of an action, apply to current to an ally within three tiles. Also apply disturbance to an enemy within one tile okay so she has here let's let me just uh, um, look for it. this one deals 1.5 uh, magic attack damage to a single target and teleport to a random ally within three tiles this is also nice to have but this is random very random that you might end up near a <laughs> an enemy and you wouldn't want that because i'm sure for mages there are they are pretty much very squishy so for her exclusive weapon gives her crit rate so crit damage increased by two when using a skill when a critical hit is triggered there is a 60 percent chance to lower the cooldown of a skill by one so she has the ability to lower cooldown of her skills which is great for a mage and let's look at more or less the assumptions or the the analysis for her so again she has the biggest range i've uh, mentioned that she can buff her own critical chance and make enemies receive crit hits more often and critical damage as well can decrease the cooldown of her skills or even reset them fully which is built into her kit and great at killing important targets. Please take note that she is lightning. So lightning right now is kind of valuable in taking out water element, especially Charlotte, especially also Lena. 
but any water you know water hero is going to be valued because of their ability to be superior to water especially for example in 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 pv pvp so cons she has very weak aoe potential i think she has one or two skills um most of her skills are more on single target damage she's very gear and rune reliant of course because she needs to increase her crit rate and most of her kit is reliant on crit rate Okay, so um, that is the catch. She is she is going to be built heavily on rune and on her gear. Okay, so that is how we are actually going to look at her. Um, is there a chance that we can, you know, you can have something that that uh, uh, encourages you guys to get her? She's actually just worth getting if you're looking for a lightning hero. So that is it. And at this point, there are too many good mages to, you know, to select from that you might want to pass her, you know, over other mages. Again, she's only good um, to get if you're needing a lightning hero badly and you don't have enough damage um, or DPS for your lightning hero. So let's go back to... Uh, Nola here. Let's do a hero experience and try to um, see how the mechanics of her kit is going to play out. Okay, to start off, we need to uh, attack this fellow here. So as you see, when she uses that skill, she teleports back, which is actually kind of handy. But the problem is, if you have too many heroes in the battlefield with you, it's going to be something random. It's okay if it's going to be one. I don't really have a problem with it. So that was the skill that uh, was used. So single target, then teleport to random ally. This one is kind of her AOE skill. One of a few that she has. Let's... Uh... Just deal that one. Nothing too special with her, actually. Um, the only, again, the only problem, me not uh, agreeing with her teleport is it's going to be a random ally within three tiles. So, this you actually, placement there is really key. So, more or less, that is our showcase for, um, for Nola. And, um, my best advice for you guys, again, you the, the only reason why you're going to be getting her is that if you're lacking lightning heroes, that's the only reason. But apart from that, I don't think you'll be summoning for her. There are a lot more better mages and Lina is one of them. And next up, we're going to be reviewing Lina. Okay, so we have Lina here. So Lina is one of the best mages that we have. Um, you might want to think or consider getting her because of what she can do. Let's go over her skills and see more clearly what she offers to you, especially that, that she's a water element mage. Okay, guys, so for Lina here... So, increase magic attack when HP is above uh, 70. That's for your unique passive. After dealing damage, uh, own turn can move two tiles after the battle. This is the skill that I am talking about. If she deals damage, casts a spell, deals regular attack, she can move two tiles after the battle. If she casts slow, definitely she will have a, an, an, an advantage in terms of movement. That is why she is actually kind of valuable and also sick in terms of that mechanic. So she has a leader passive as well if you want to consider building her. So activation condition, two water allies, which is easy, by the way. Um, you have, you have uh, Ga not Gabby, you have Charlotte, then you have Richard. If you want to build a water team, especially for PvP, then you will really need her. So increase uh, by 10% melee attack, uh, 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 physical attack and magic attack. When at full HP, all allies penetrate 50%. 
the defense and M defense when dealing damage. Again, she's a very valuable water hero. Um, can easy you can easily you can easily build your water allies and activate her leader passive. So moving to her skills. So she has debuffs here. This one, um, this uh, descent of frost is going to be perfect because. Uh, this it, this slows enemies and um, can't use escort skill. Increase damage against slowed. So she's a, she has the ability really to slow down the enemy, the opposing team, especially in a PvP scenario wherein wherein you are basically trying to slow down the advance of the enemy. You can actually have a team wherein. You bottleneck them with the front line, then slow them down moving forward towards your front line. And probably chip away at them while, you know, while they're slowed. So she has a very, very nice kit, guys. Again, another here, slow. She has a lot of slow in her kit. So take note of that. She might be a very valuable addition to your roster. You might have to think twice if you're going to be summoning for Susie and Susan rather than her. Take a look at her. She might fit more. Uh, she might be better a better fit than Susie and Susan right now as a mage. So both because both of their banners are up right now. So currently we do have. Um, let's take a look at the tier list. These are our mages, guys, in the tier list. So Nola is going to be S. Lena is going to be SS. Uh, Catherine SS. Also, um, these uh, these other mages are options. It's really dependent upon your playstyle and how you're building your team. Please, um, I just want to make sure that you're considering Lena. Um, Susie and Susan also are of SS. So again, they also bring a different mechanic to what... Uh, to your team but for lena it's uh, itchy <laughs> not itchy um for lena it's more of um very straightforward style easy for me it's e she's easier to use than Susie and susan her kit so let's go back to lena here so a lot of slows in her kit and this is her ultimate weapon so penetrates three percent of melee the um uh Magic defense when using active skill against enemies with slow. When inflicting slow on the target already has this debuff, there is 60% chance to inflict frozen instead. So again, um, she controls your the advance of enemies well, especially in a bottleneck situation. So she's very tactical, this, uh, this mage. So if you want to consider her, please do consider her because if, if you did get her in the free random banner now is a good time to get her so pros um easily controls the battlefield with slows very obvious um highly survivable can debuff enemies and decrease their magic defense and move after using a spell again two tiles she can move that but she has no defensive skills so she has to rely more on her own movement and also the protection of her team. Okay, so what do I think of her? Um, is she worth it? Um, she's really worth it. She's worth to pull now because of her mobility, survivability, and ability to control movement. Um, it's really a toss-up whether you prefer Atom, Catherine, or Susie. Really dep depends upon you. You have to actually, again, study your team, how your team is built. And Element is a wise and a good choice because she's water. Because for PvP, it's, I think, the most dominant element right now without a lot of uh, without a lot of uh, lightning elements going around. Um, water is really going to dominate PvP. So you might consider her if you are into pve pvp in particular but again she has equal um efficiency in pve as well let's go over her ear here experience and see how she can do there okay guys so here is her hero experience again take note that this banner just dropped yesterday and this is until february 7 you actually have a long time to think and to save up whether you're gonna be pulling for her banner or not the other banners are gonna run up to february 14th 
which gives you another week before new characters arrive. So I'm not sure if the new characters are going to be good. Um, it's really a it's really a guess at this point whether you're gonna risk pulling for Lena or not, and probably not summon for the new characters in the future. I'm actually thinking about pulling for Lena. I'm still thinking as of this moment. So let's uh, check out her hero experience and see what she does. Okay, so this is her hero experience. So I would suggest this one. Uh, it's very easy to use. This is going to give them slow and gonna be debuffed for two turns. This is. She is literally going to eat up their HP bit by bit. And she's she's really untouchable at this point. So let us. Okay. I can't click on her. Let's just click on this, click on that. And four of them are affected. So you can actually move. As you can see here, you're out of danger in this tile. So you move here and wait. And the rest will have to crawl towards you. All of them have slow. So this is her ultimate, which you know occupies everything. So again, she really can punish you with a lot of slows. This guy still has a lot of still has slow, even for for what you call this two turns. So this one, as you cast a spell, you move away again. Again, she she's fun to use. Really not a problem. Really easy, fun to use, very effective. There's no other way to you know to explain her kit. And there you go. Okay, guys, so I'll leave you to it whether you're going to be, you know, if whether you'd like to summon for Nola or for Lina. But my recommendation is if you're going to choose from the two or from all of the available banners now, you can consider Lina. She's one of the top uh, mages that we have uh, apart from Susie and Susan coming in. Again, really depends upon if you need them in your roster. But Lina, can't go wrong with Lina if you... You know, if you're, you you favor Nola, it really, really is up to you. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.